They have been called the greatest generation. They witnessed total financial collapse. They endured great economic hardship. They survived massive environmental disaster. Yet, they persevered. And when the world cried out for their help to defeat the evils of fascism, they answered the call. Once again, they sacrificed dearly. Yet they persevered and spread freedom and liberty around the world. And when they were done, they celebrated. Man, did they celebrate! The inevitable result, the boom heard round the world, the baby boomer generation. The boomers, on the other hand, grew up in a time of unprecedented prosperity, ironically overshadowed by the threat of worldwide destruction. This generation was anything but silent. They had opinions. They redefined the notion of equality. They redefined music. They redefined fashion. They redefined political dissent. And then a funny thing happened. They grew old. With 10,000 boomers retiring every day, the boomers now run the risk of overwhelming this country with their health care needs. So it's time for the boomers to emulate the responsibility of their ancestors, to redefine aging. How? Technology. And the best of breed, grand care systems. Let's hear more about it from one of the founders. Plato once wrote, Necessity, the mother of invention. How true this was for the origins of grand care systems, and how true this is for our society today. The necessity is clear, as our nation is already reeling under the financial burdens of health care. As the boomers age, the demands will increase while the number of caregivers will decrease, as will the willingness of the government to foot the bill. This will not be solved by government fiat or by tinkering with reimbursement formulas. Instead, it will demand innovative technologies that bring health care into the home, making it more proactive, preventative, predictive, and personalized. Major studies by the VA, Phillips, and Cleveland Clinic have shown definitively that even simple telehealth systems drastically reduce hospital readmissions. Medcalf estimates that a full 75% of Medicare readmissions are avoidable, meaning that there are $12 billion a year of costs that are avoidable. The technologies of grand care are aimed specifically at these savings. Let's take a closer look at the system. The grand care system starts with a senior-friendly touchscreen computer, typically in the kitchen. It looks like a digital photo frame, showing a full range of personalized content. 24-7, the system performs a wide variety of monitoring, which is accessible by healthcare professionals and family across the internet. It maintains constant touch with a cloud-based enterprise solution to handle alerts, share data, and perform congregate analytics. With the patient firmly at the center, the Grand Care system integrates four technologies, smart home, to light the way to the bathroom during the night, activity monitoring, have the system text you if mom doesn't get up in the morning, wellness monitoring, wireless physiological readings, self-assessment, medication compliance, and social connectivity, one-button Skype, email, reminders, pictures, caller ID, games, brain exercises with an age-appropriate interface. And all of this for the cost of less than one month in assisted living. Why is this important? Because if the boomers do not redefine aging, we will bankrupt our children and our grandchildren, and that we cannot abide. So thank you, age responsibly, peace.